hands-on with the Matthias wireless aluminum keyboard for Mac. So ladies and gentlemen, I have been waiting on the Matthias wireless aluminum keyboard for quite some time. It finally arrived today. As you can see, it comes in that really, really nice space gray color that matches my 2016 MacBook Pro. Now here's the thing with this keyboard. It actually pairs with up to four different Bluetooth devices. So you can pair it with your Mac, your iPad, a Windows machine, an Android device, and the keyboard adjusts its layout to match each device as you switch. There are actually four dedicated buttons on this keyboard for switching between devices. So I'll show you that here in a second. But the really exciting thing about this keyboard is that it features one year battery life. So this thing has a huge rechargeable battery inside. In fact, it's five to 12 times bigger than the batteries found in most rechargeable keyboards. Uh, so you can use this thing for a year, keep it connected to your device the whole time and only charge it once during that year. So that's super exciting. You don't have to worry about changing out batteries or any of that. Uh, it just works. So let's go ahead and unbox this right now. So here's what you get in the box, the full-size Matthias wireless aluminum keyboard in space gray, and Matthias supplies a USB power cable. So the first thing they tell me to do is to charge up the keyboard. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So here's the charging cable. It's just a simple micro USB cable, but it's nice because it has that right angle connection right here. So we'll just plug it in to the micro USB port, which is right here. Like that. So it takes about five hours to fully recharge the 1600 milliamp hour battery inside the Matthias keyboard. And you'll notice a little amber light on the caps lock key while charging. Once charged, press the power button and you'll notice a little green LED flash a few times on the caps lock key. So now it's time to pair with my Mac. And the nice thing is there are actually four different pairing buttons. So you can pair up to four devices at the same time. So I just press the first button there and then I'll go to my Mac. I'll go to Bluetooth preferences here. And then I should see the Matthias wireless keyboard show up. Just click on where it says pair. And once it's paired, you can see it there connected. So now we can start using the keyboard with my Mac, but that's not all. You can go in, you can pair other devices up to three additional devices. So I'll just press and hold on the second Bluetooth pairing button there, and I'll pair the Matthias keyboard to my iPad this time. So now just tap where it says Matthias wireless keyboard. So there you go, folks. I'm paired to the iPad Pro and to my Mac at the same time. And to switch between devices, I just press the pairing button that corresponds to the device. So I press that first one to switch back to my Mac, press the second one to switch back to the iPad Pro, just like that. Really, really awesome. You can pair up to two additional devices. It works with Windows, it works with Android as well. But obviously this keyboard is geared towards Mac and iOS users. You have a lot of the Mac-centric keyboard shortcuts here, such as mission control. And of course you have your volume and you have your uh, music playback controls. And you also have a function key to interface with the normal function keys. Now, one thing that you might not appreciate about this keyboard is that it's set at a fixed angle and there are no feet on the bottom to adjust. So the angle that you get is the angle that it's set at permanently. The good news is the angle, at least for me, is conducive to typing. You also have a lot of key travel with those keys, something that you MacBook and MacBook Pro users might appreciate with their shallow key travel. Now, even though you don't get those nice butterfly switches on the new generation MacBook Pro, I find that the keys are still fairly stable when pressing the keys at their edges. Not as stable as what you'll find on the new MacBook Pro, but still fairly good for typists. Now, I just have a couple of gripes. I notice just a little bit of flexibility on the edges of the keyboard. So when you press like that, there's a little give. Uh, and that happens at the top of the keyboard as well. But that's really being nitpicky. Overall, this keyboard is great. Highly recommend it. Um, if you can get past the fact that you can't adjust the angle of the keyboard, I think you're going to love it. Uh, you get the one year battery life. You can pair with up to four different devices. It looks great. It matches the MacBook Pro, as you can see there, my space gray MacBook Pro. And having a full-sized wireless Bluetooth key.